welcome to my channel, Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. It is 9.35 in the morning. I have not eaten breakfast. I had a collagen coffee. I will not be eating breakfast. I will probably do lunch, not sure yet. Um, definitely dinner. We are going to a huge swamp meet that's just gigantic. Um, the bus right there is an hour and a half, hour and a half back, plus all the shopping. I'm going to be filming while I'm there. Um, just to show y'all what it looks like. Um, but I lost one pound, four ounces this morning, so I am very happy. I weighed in at 197.4. Um, so yeah, and I did my makeup and hair today, but it's already starting to melt off already, and I just did it. But, um, so I'm happy it's going down. I did have some coat zeroes yesterday. Um, but everything I had was dirty keto or close to clean keto. Um, I guess the only real dirty thing I had was the Coat Zeros. Everything else, I made sure they had none of the dirty ingredients or anything. So, I'm still keeping one Coat Zero a day right now or, or three. We're going to see how that goes. Um because I want to get all this weight back off me again and then start losing some more and if y'all remember the night before I got on the plane so the night of the 10th um, I weighed in that morning at 191.1 the lowest I had ever been and I was still good until around midnight um, and I ate a few keto friendly carbs and some pickles and and like I think I only went up in carbs five that I wasn't supposed to and I ended up weighing in the next morning at 197.4 and that was without sleep that was with all the stress and then I flew for 18 hours then got here and ate some nachos and went up again so technically when I went up here I went up two pounds the other happened before I even got on the plane so right now I'm back at the weight I was before I hopped onto the plane so now we got to work on that water weight from the stress, from my anxiety, from eating at pickles do this to me too. So from eating pickles, from eating the keto friendly almond flour cookies, um, it seems when I eat a bunch of almonds I go up drastically in weight overnight. Um, so I think I have a problem with almond flour and just don't know it. Um, so we'll see. But I am dying in sweat and we are about to go and I will show y'all my whole entire day. I'm then videotaping every time I eat something, when I see a pretty beach, when um, like the swamp meet I'm going to show y'all. It'll probably be a little boring but you get to see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, <sighs> let me get out of here before I sweat all my makeup off. Okay, so I'm at Chili's, my favorite restaurant in the world and I'm going to go be honest, I was going to not have a cheat, but I only see him twice a year, and I've decided to go ahead and eat chili. Yeah. And after I looked at how much a burger without the bun, without the fries, and everything else was going to cost, I decided to just eat my favorite meal. So, I am letting y'all know now, I am having a cheat meal. We're out here in the hot sun and I forgot to put sunscreen on so I'm probably going to die today. Oh, there's so much crap to look at. Yeah, who knows why I'll buy. Okay guys, this is the Loa Stadium swap meet. You can see some deals. Which way you want to go first? Right. Uh, yeah, because you see all that stuff. I'm gonna provide a way and let you film it all. Hmm? I'm gonna provide a way and let you film it all. Nine? Nine? Okay, this is the girly stuff that she likes. So, each tent has like different prices, so it's always good to look around. Oh, here. Kind of want to look at these two, so. You don't have to film the whole time, baby. Yes, I do. It's a documentary of the Los Angeles. My breakfast. Will you like the chairs It is starting to sprinkle. I actually hope it rains because it's hot. But yeah. 
I'm getting enough steps in, that's for sure. And I'm getting sunburned again, that's for sure. But yeah, so that was the only meal I've had today was that little stork bar. Um, it's like 260 calories. I think it's four carbs. But I was starving. I wasn't going to eat yet, but I was dying of starvation. I don't even know if y'all can hear me over the wind. So we spent hours walking around that flea market, getting more sunburn, getting exhausted beyond belief, extremely thirsty. All I wanted was a coat zero and food. Um, it was close to three o'clock. Starving, hot, cranky. We went to my favorite restaurant, Chili's. The only place with coat zero around here. I thought I could stay keto get a hamburger and realize how much the hamburgers cost in there. Next thing, you know, let's just say the only thing keto friendly that I ate was some coleslaw and my Coke Zero. Everything else was downhill Charlie. But it's okay. I watched a video the other day about Keto Connect. It's not that you can't have it. You have to make a choice. Do you want it? Don't you want it? Yes, I want to lose weight. I have been keto for almost two whole years, only slipping here and there for two years, concentrating on every ounce of weight that goes up and down on my body for two years. And I made a conscious decision for the last two years, what I normally got on my birthday, I haven't been getting, what I normally get, my Coke Zero. Um, things that I like, I always say no to. I'm still a keto person, will always be a keto person, not going off the keto diet, but I had already decided when I reached my goal weight that if once every six months I decide to go out and have a non-keto meal, not to make myself guilty about it, no matter how much fluid I gain. So today is a non-keto day. Yes, it is Coke Zero, but I did have chicken strips. I did have a few french fries. They were nasty, so I didn't really eat that many. I had some chips and salsa, um, coleslaw, and that, yeah, that's what I had. Oh, and a little barbecue sauce. And whatever else I might have, I don't know. Today is a non-keto day. I will not go detail by detail of what I might fall into, but I am not gonna go crazy. I am still gonna stay um, low carb, but it's officially a non-keto day. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap today up with one of my collagen coffees. It's really hot. My machine doesn't get hot like this at home. So it's 8.30 here at night. We had a long day at the Swamp Meet. It covers the outside of a whole entire stadium, like a football stadium. So just to go around there one time is over 6,000 steps. So it's over a mile. Um, so I got a lot of walking in today because we also walked to other places and did a bunch of other stuff. Um, like I said, we went to Chili's. I was debating on inserting a picture of what I ate at Chili's and I've decided not to since it is so not keto friendly. Um, but I did put a picture on my Instagram if anyone wants to go see it. No, I did not eat all those fries. No, I did not eat all that chicken. Um, where I really went wrong though was the chips and salsa, which are my weakness. Um, Mexican is my weakness, especially nachos, anything, chips and salsa, cheese stuff always gets me. Um, so I got this. It's a sarong. You can make a dress out of it, a little skirt out of it, anything you want. And I decided to put it behind me. Um, so yeah, I think I have a few shots of the swamp meat um, that my man took that I'm going to enter in here. It started to rain and we wanted to keep our phones not wet and you can't really look and hold phones. So we're really going to be filming when we actually go on the heights and climb the mountains and do all the crazy stuff. Um, I think tomorrow we are hitting the gym though. I think we're going to make sure and start hitting it four days a week because I did not just slip or fall 
off the wagon. I made a constant choice today while sitting in there at Chili's that this was going to be a non-keto day after all. I started off really strong and I got so exhausted, so hot that I was just craving carbs beyond belief. So I ate them. I ate a lot of food. No stomach pain, no nausea, no heartburn, and I ate a lot. And I drank. What is this going on? Oh, okay, good. I drank four Coke Zeros while we were there. She started the video without me. Well, you, yep. take, you take too long getting dressed. I just get on here even when I'm not dressed because technically I'm not dressed right now. Um, but I drank all the sodas, ate so many chips. I. It was so yummy and so good, but wrong. Wrong was wrong. <laughs> but it was yummy, but was wrong. <laughs> but even though it wasn't keto friendly, um, I've done so good for so long, I decided to give myself a break. And after eating all that bad food, my sugar was only 82. Okay, so yeah, I failed at keto today. But before eating that food, would have been 200 my sugar would have been. Let's talk about what happened after that. I got that big giant cozy where y'all saw. And I had a big giant long john. For anyone who doesn't know what it is, it's a long donut with chocolate icing all over it and cream in the middle. I ate it all. She forgot to mention the ice cream. I didn't get the part. ice cream yet. The then I ate a pint yummy. of Kit Kat <laughs> ice cream. Okay, between those two things alone was almost 300 carbs. Okay, today I officially ate more carbs today than I have eaten in the last four months altogether because I normally stay under 10 a day. So the bottom line is... No, no bottom line. It's okay. I'm on vacation and I've decided I'm not going to live my life punishing myself well, just because I messed up. There's two things wrong with that. No. Oh, oh yeah. No, First you're of not all, the keto. price. Let's go to the price on this oh, one. Oh no, we're not talking about prices. <laughs> no, you know, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, even though it was bad, bad that I ate all those carbs, here comes the good part. After all the donut, the ice cream, the 300 and something carbs back to back, my blood sugar was as a person who's never had diabetes in their life, as teenage blood, 120. Okay, that's as high as it went, 120. That is like. A, blood sugar from when I was 18. So yes, I was wrong. I shouldn't eat all those carbs. You're right. However, I discovered an off-scale victory. I might go up tomorrow and I might pay for this crap and feel horrible, but I now know that even though the diabetes doctor caught yesterday, I don't have diabetes. If I did, I would have been in a coma in the hospital. My blood sugar is really 120. She's cured. <laughs> That's what it is. She's cured. And it's all because of keto. So, you know, I'm not, I'm going right back on keto tomorrow. We're hitting the gym tomorrow. I'm going to do tons of swimming laps. I suck on equipment. I will do some, but I'm swimming my butt off. I'm um, hitting it hardcore. And of course, when I go back home, I'm doing strict, clean keto bore again because that's what really works for me. But I was amazed with the amount of food I was able to eat here without pain and without feeling sick. Maybe it's all the activities we do, maybe it's the heat, but at home, y'all see me, six ounces of meat with no other food and I'm in pain after I eat and I'm always complaining about that, but here, when I mean I ate a feast, I ate a feast of food today with no pain. Yes, honey? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So I don't normally eat like that. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, even though it was wrong, and I ate a million billion carbs, um, that we shouldn't beat ourselves up. The world is still out there. We still have to live in it. And sometimes you have to decide, do you want to eat the carbs or not? If you don't decide to eat them and you accidentally do, like I did with the popcorn, then that's when I have a problem because I didn't want to eat them, but I did because I was not thinking about it and eating it and like I made a clear decision to eat the food today. She enjoyed life today, guys. Do you believe it? <laughs> but I enjoy life on keto, but no, I, um, yeah. 
I made a decision that was okay for me. So it wasn't binge eating, it wasn't cheating in my opinion because, and it wasn't a fall, it was a jump. I jumped straight in there on purpose and I was okay with it because I was feeling really bad. You can ask him and I think it's because of all the sweat. As you can see, I'm drenched again. I think my electrolytes are crazy. Um, I can't seem to get them right. Um, and I feel like garbage 24 seven. My legs have been in pain. I barely can walk. I can't keep up with him. And I'm normally not like that. But after eating all the crazy food, I'm not even sleepy. And normally I'd be passed out in bed already. So I don't know, I have a lot of energy. <laughs> but keto gives you energy. Keto is the way I want to live. I just don't know how to get my electrolytes together no matter how much I drink or eat. So I'm not gonna do it again, but I'm not sorry that I did it either. So tomorrow is gonna be a renew, a start. <laughs> I say if you guys decide to cheat, try your hardest not to, and maybe wait like five months or six months or something, and then, then cheat like every five to six months if you can, and you know, break it down little by little, but not every day is wrong but like she said we're gonna hit the gym tomorrow we're going swimming she don't want to do the exercising <laughs> we're gonna do swimming like who knows how long probably all day because it's so hot but yeah we're gonna do tons of swimming um i gotta work on my arms tomorrow um at least an hour on my arms and then we're just gonna hit the pool from there we're gonna try i'm gonna make her try to take some video there you technically that one you're not supposed to but if you blur the faces out, it's not too bad, but... I don't know how to do any of that. So yeah, it's all that. editing more, so maybe we can kind of angle it or something where it doesn't do that. Or you can bring your GoPro in the water or something. No, I don't want to keep up with it. It's really expensive. Uh, we yep. have a little doggy at our feet right now. If you're wondering what we're looking at, we don't want him tripping mm -hmm. over everything. My son again. He decided to come in and say hello so again. So we had leftover chicken and he oh, loved he it. Oh, he loved it, I you? think he's looking for more chicken. I sent you some more, it's in the kitchen. It's on okay. the floor. Okay, be careful. Mm -hmm. So, yes I cheated. Do I feel sorry? No. Am I going to pay for it tomorrow? Yes. But, I got the only cheats I really wanted. The only things I've been talking about maybe cheating on was chilies, my nachos, and a long john. And I ain't did ice cream. So I'm done. I'm good. Those are my desires to have. I had them. And I'm here for at least three more weeks. So we're going to see if we can actually make my weight go down. And as far as for me, my body type is different like everybody else's one is. I can eat anything but if i eat a small amount i lose weight like that but that's my body type everybody's body type is different yes he doesn't have to do but keto or any other kind of diet i've been trying the keto diet but i hate a lot of the taste of the food but i'm trying i'm trying because she's doing it so i'm gonna try harder to be strictly on keto because i sugar is real bad sugar is definitely bad salt ain't too bad your body needs some kind of salt but sugar oh my god let me tell you sugar is totally bad for you but he I'm doesn't gonna, like all the meats is one of the problem. Yeah, I'm not into meat too much because to me they put too much things in meat and yeah. That's why we buy the organic meat. There's nothing in it. No antibiotics, I stick with my no chicken. hormones. Ah, uh, chicken is meat, honey. You're no, 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 no. See, chicken is a different kind of meat because the horses are so adorable. They got those big There's eyes. There's not horse meat. We live in the United States. You're they gonna think you're in a foreign country right now. We're in no, Hawaii. No, no, no. We're in Hawaii. We eat no. horse. No, no, cat. stop. I don't no. want to answer racist. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm just it, kidding. He doesn't like red meat and he doesn't like pork. He really is just chicken and fish. Well, cow's eyes are so cute. They got the big little eyes and stuff. Uh, but I, I just do chicken I and care. fish I want my steak. protein pot or whatever. But we will be having steak and the amount we paid for this stupid dinner today, we could have had eight steaks. Ribeyes. Eight yeah, ribeyes. We could have had them good barbecue steaks. Mm -mm. But like I said, I'm just going to go more on her keto diet and go from there and then see where it goes. And yeah. And then we'll inform you guys like daily, of course. He'll be more low, low carb than keto because he doesn't like fats. Yeah, I don't like fats. Fats too much and he believes, sugar. I already sugar. told them you believe fat makes you fat. It's but everyone expects you to believe that if you don't believe in keto because everyone's been brainwashed over the years to believe fat makes you fat. Fat gives you cholesterol. When the truth was before General Mills did their little study 
Um, that was what was healthy. Go look at Greece and all the other countries. They ate a lot of olive oil. So, and they're some of the healthiest, oldest people. Uh, I know you're never gonna believe it. It's okay. They nah, they all do. I know. I just believe everybody's body type is different. <laughs> so. But I believe keto is one of the best diet series out there either way. But I just say, yeah, we cheated. We messed up, especially. Sh but we're gonna make a comeback. My theory is we're gonna try to go to the gym, and we're gonna see if I guess water splashing and aerobics works. <laughs> that's for the heck of it. That that's my theory. If you exercise. But that's my theory and everybody's yeah. body's different, so because he doesn't understand have fun. my adrenal gland issue. Well they, they understand it though. It's, it's not that. No it's just that, you know I know we're gonna be in that pool for hours and hours. Well that's a whole other story. That pool is Our, amazing. I don't have to worry and I know about my adrenal she, gland. She ain't gonna wanna leave that pool. But I swim you. back and forth the whole time. So even if I'm not losing weight from it, I am strengthening my arms, strengthening my legs, strengthening my back. Her sunburns, strengthening <sighs> I swear I get sunburned just from the heat inside your house. <laughs> okay, Sunburn people, come to Hawaii. Be prepared to be soaking wet 24-7. Like, you ain't getting away from the heat. Just ain't happening. All right, I'll let her finish it and close it up. Bye, guys. <laughs> I think I drive him crazy and I think I talk too long. But I'm going to go finish my um, collagen coffee. Um, prepare myself to probably be cranky the next couple of days from going through withdrawals. You hear that, honey? When you come off a car bin, you have withdrawals. Yeah, we need to put a fan in that room. Yes, we need a fan in this room. Um, but we're gonna go try to make some more intros because I can't decide which ones I like. I made a bunch and yeah, every time I see them, I'm just like, I don't know, I want something different. So we're gonna go play for a while. So I will talk to y'all tomorrow and we will see the punishment I get on the scale.